Okay, so this is take two. It's absolutely uh, 100 degrees outside, so if I take this video too long, it's gonna uh, set my iPhone and tell me my temperature warning is on. So, uh, this is an impact mill, rock crusher. You have your feed in right here. I'll eventually get down to maybe cutting that down to a nicer, more clean size. You've got four inch tubing right here, outer diameter tubing, square tubing that goes into feed right inside right there. And the way I fed, had the feed mechanism is, is kind of, I think, similar to Jeff Williams. Um, it's where he actually cut a section of a piece out of the front side of this pi uh, pipe, um, you know, all the way over. And then basically uh, the size that he wanted it and then welded it to the back as a back plate right here after cutting this at a 45 degree angle so that it, it gives you a shoot. Um, so I basically tried to do it as best I could with his. You can, yeah, low battery, thank you. Um, the welds were kept the way they were so that I can remind myself of exactly the conditions of what was going on and how I adapted to them. Spatter, nice. I could have ground these all down to make it look seamless. So obviously welding thicker material is much easier. This is, um, 3 8 inch steel it's basically a 16 inch outer diameter tube or a pipe and um, it's standard wall it's not schedule 40 it's not schedule 20 this is what they call standard wall uh, pipe and what we did was we put a, uh, a foam seal around it to try and keep down the dust it's only been tightened down once and you can clearly see that it's already deformed the seal so I'd probably get something maybe rubber um, this is one inch uh, diameter uh, steel rod that I've got from my local metal shop with some plate uh, three inch steel plates then I welded to the uh, the rod we have quick links and grade 80 chain the um, I went with grade 80 chain because at the price uh, at the price it was going for it's a lot uh, it was economical at the time because the quick links are fucking almost twice the price so um, yeah, and then you can clearly see it's a very low tolerance. Uh, this, I didn't have a very centered uh, puncture with the um, one inch hole at the back when I drilled it, so it was slightly off in one direction and it gave it a little closer tolerance towards the bottom than the top, or that's essentially what I made it. But here's the cap, and then you have your flange bearing, four bolt, it's got a one inch bore diameter. Um, and then I just welded on some, some, uh, what is this? Rebar as handles. You've got your bolts, uh, your little flanges to, for your bolt holes. And then I use these big ass bolts and some washers to go on, or big ass nuts to go on these washers, or bolts, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. Um, yeah, and then you have your internal feed mechanism back there. It's not cut perfectly. I understand this is my first metalworking project, meaning first welding project and cutting and everything like that. Oh, I mean, not cutting metal, but I mean, fuck, this is 3 8 inch steel, and most of it was 3 8 inch steel, so that's, yeah, that's a first. But it's built uh, on an old dolly. I've got solid rubber tires. Um, they were rated at 300 pounds, and this is probably going to be close to that, but I don't know if they'll collapse like a, um, an air tire will. I put these brackets on. A lot of this steel was made from, or was obtained at, at this property here, so these are bed, bed frames that I cut up, and you know, they're not that great, but it gives this thing legs. And this old dolly didn't have good tires, and so I replaced the tires, and then did the old cotter pin method, as you can see. They, those washers are junk. But um, you've got four inch, I'm not sure if I said this, but this is four inch diameter uh, square pipe. And then we decided to put a cap on it because of the fact is, is that the bend's not absolutely great. It doesn't come up very much. So when this thing decides to fling stuff up, it might actually come totally up this thing. So it, it's nice to have a um, pretty fairly heavy duty top on it. Then we've got a Harbor Freight Special, $99, um, or on a good day when you get the coupons, 99 bucks. You can get this motor, it's two uh, 212 cc's, 6.5 horsepower. 
I've got a 2.5 um, inch uh, diameter pulley on this one, and it's gonna reduce down to a five inch, roughly, diameter pulley, so that's probably, it's gonna reduce the uh, RPMs by about half. This thing says it's um, rated RPM at idle is 17. 25 and so that's going to reduce it by half to 800 rp 800 something rpms basically upper 800s and so that's the flail chain spinning around so the flail chains will spin around any rock that we put into this thing is just going to get crushed and um a lot of people well before I say that, um, it's going once it gets crushed, it's going to come out of all these drill holes that I've got into the side of this, which is the outlet tube right here. And um, hopefully without a positive air induction system coming from the, uh, the inlet right there where I dropped the rock, we can get this stuff to just come right out as it, as it gets crushed. If it doesn't seem like it's coming out as it gets crushed, then it'll just settle to the bottom and I might um, and create an up. Uh, an air induction system to where like I have an air blower at the top blowing air down through this pipe so that it comes out this way and it'll go um, my roommate designed this it's actually a fairly ingenious system how it hooks up to a five gallon system and that thing just basically screws on it's a rubber uh, coupling he went to Home Depot and got all this and uh, I thought it was pretty ingenious even though I, I mean I created this but that, that's still pretty ingenious so um, and then here's the cap well, yeah, we just went through that. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is the uh, flail chain system of an impact mill. I uh, just wanted to share this with you. Uh, if you're interested in hard rock gold mining and um, or anything rock crushing in general, you can you can crush rock for a, a, a lot of different reasons. Uh, uh, this is should be the second largest unit on YouTube. I am hoping for that because this is a 16 inch outer diameter by 14 inch length so just in case anybody wanted to know the dimensions from this side to about the back cap is 14 inches long uh, Jeff Williams has one I think he said it's 16 by 12 Dan Hurd actually on YouTube also uh, has one of these he's those are the two founders that of this design and that's where I got this uh, the essential schematic not schematics but Overall, they, you know, when you do a YouTube video and they give you a pretty extensive look at it, you can get a good idea and then replicate it yourself. So, <clears throat> yeah, I thought I'd get without the cap on and I will um, continue this video with it actually running. Now, there's a few modifications I would like to take up and it would be rubber soles on the uh, foot. Otherwise, it'd be put in like maybe a soft sand area, but even then it's just going to dig down. So... Um, I'd want some rubber cushioning to where the vibration is down towards the feet and whatever it's sitting on. I need some bushings between all the bolts to uh, reduce the amount of vibration between those. And then I also need a rubber mount at the base of the motor because there's just too much vibration coming from that motor and shaking the hell out of all this. So it just does not mesh well. So I'd, I'd like to put bushings and rubber um, gat or whatever plates underneath everything that needs to be taken care of so that way it runs very uh, not smoothly but less vibration and then if anything I need to try and tighten this belt a little bit more it won't be a problem this thing kind of moves over a little bit as it is but yeah this is a 45 inch belt just in case anybody wanted to know these are this was roughly about 45 inches for a belt so and it's this solid model not the regular ribbed model you'd find on your car so yeah i hope you enjoy this video um this was an interesting project thank you for watching i uh, hope you learned something and i'm going to attempt to rock crush some stuff and hope it comes out thank you for watching